Hi, it's Ethne Green Living here, and I'm back to share just a little bit more about classical conversations, and then I'll leave you guys alone. So in my first video, I shared what uh, we're using for science. It just kind of gave you a visual of it. In the second video, I went ahead and I talked to you about what we use for the foundations program, and I just kind of gave you a peek inside of the foundations guide. For the third one, I went ahead and I talked about what we use for essentials, which is basically the middle school English program. And now I, that I've showed you what our spine is, I'm back to show you how I add life to it, um, what I do in my home, and then I'll come back and I'll show you what else we're using for my first grader, for my third grader, and for my sixth grader. Because again, this was just my spine. So if I didn't get a chance to do anything else, I knew that all my basics was covered when I had my review with the state. Uh, because I do review with the state. Okay, so you already know we use the foundation sky. Um, but if you're new joining on here, catch up on those videos when you get a chance. And we'll just go ahead here. Now I will say, yeah, this is cycle one. So we haven't got this far yet. But, so let's go ahead back some, it does just make it easier. So we are gonna go back some, we'll do, we'll look at week four. So we have our multiplication here and what are some parts of a plant cell? And so they were actually talking about plant cells and then we're talking about pyramids, um, we're talking about the Hittite empire and then we're talking about this whole thing right here. So I use that as my basis. And then I do just want to show you that I do have a little tiny uh, memory work flipbook. And so this is exactly the same thing that I just had, except it's in a smaller format. And it's just the cycle that we're on right now. And so... Whether you are part of CC or not, you can pay and access CC Connected, and this is the username or where it came from. And so it gives you your map, and then it just gives you everything broken down. So this is something that we use daily. This is so simple and easy, and um, you don't have to worry about spills or anything like that. And you can just kind of take this with you, shove it in your bag, in your purse, or whatever. It's perfect. So I'm going to show you what I am using from my own home first, and then I'll show you what I checked out from the library. So I'm all about using what you already have and not buying a bunch of extra things, and I'm all about doing as much as you can for free. So I am reusing a book that I had already started on but didn't finish, Story of the World. This Story of the World lends really, really well to CC, um, and this is from um, Susan Wise. Bauer right here includes a new timeline illustrations and so it says um, what terrible secret was buried in the um, tomb did no man's like lizard stew it says the story of the world covers the sweep of human history from ancient times into the present Africa China Europe the Americas and so this is what um, Story of the World is about. I like the book. I know not everybody likes the book. My children like the book. I don't read too much. Um, I don't read a whole chapter at a time per se, but I just wanted to kind of share with you what it looks like. It's not all colorful or anything like that. But so we use the Story of the World book and we also use the activity book and oh and I wanted to share with you this is volume um, one so activity book one ancient times because they have a couple of different ones and so this really goes well with what we're doing this year which is cycle one and so what I do for the activity book is honestly <laughs> I just print out these uh, maps and things from the back and I have them do that so they give you projects, look, Peloponnesian War, they give you maps, they give you um, crossword puzzles. So it's really fun, drawings. And what I do is while I'm reading, I let my children just work throughout their workbook. 
And so they each have one. And as I tell the story, they go ahead and they um, do their artwork. And so I do have a couple of pictures of this over on Instagram um, of just some of their completed work, actually what it was that they did. So if you want to see that, you can hop on over there and see that. Um, I don't have the excavation kits here, but we have done excavation kits. I have two of the same books here that are mine. And so it's good one for me and one for them. I have this DK Find um, Out Ancient Egypt. What do you want to find out? I have this Usborne um, Ancient World. I have How Would You Survive as an Ancient Greek. I have this Visits to Africa by Shonia, uh, Sonia Schaefer. And it's from Charlotte Mason Presents. And then this is one that we have printed offline. And so um, basically it is broken down into two parts. One part is the science and the math. And so they have um, sentences. And my son does the sentences and he does the math. And then the next part is... Um, World War, or excuse me, is the cycle in the week, and they do history and geography. So this is something additional. Another optional add-on to Classical Conversations are these timeline cards, and I like it because you get just a little bit more information, patriarchs of Israel, and then they break it down, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and they give um, great information, great color, it's a whole lesson all by itself just sitting here and looking at these um, timeline cards you're getting your Bible and history. And so um, this is a really great resource if you have the funds to add that. It is really amazing. Um, again, I'll come back and show what we're doing for math and English. And I do um, just want to show you what I've checked out from the library before I close so i have this book on seasons on parts of a flower tiny life on plants why do leaves change colors the tiny seed ancient egypt beyond the pyramids gamesh the king um, fall leaves how to grow excuse me, how a seed grows, powerful plant cells, and oak trees lie, the secret life of trees, uh-oh, seed to plant, plant, a seed is a start, seasons, what is cell theory, cells and cell functions, great civilizations, Mesopotamian, Sumer, Egyptians, okay, that wasn't right, but the ancient Mediterranean, and ancient room and seeds and fruits and so these are just books that I just grabbed from the library absolutely free and they really enhance what it is that we're already doing what I already have here um, for free and I'd be happy to share with you guys more on my lesson planning if you'd like to see that um, let me know that you like these videos by giving me a thumbs up so that I will continue if not I won't um, <laughs> even take the time out to make them. I really love and enjoy making videos, but if you're not interested in them, I'll uh, make them on something else that maybe you'd be more interested in. So anyway, um, thank you guys for watching and until next time, blessings.